hello again, babe. So, uh, the other day I was scrolling through Twitter, as we all do, and I saw a video of three women harassing a Sears, like, customer service representative, and I started thinking back to all of the horrendous customers that I had to deal with. So I thought I would tell you about some of the glorious assholes I've gotten to deal with. Specifically, the assholes that I had to deal with when I was a dog groomer. Before we get started though, I'm looking at you. 85%. You know who you are who are watching these vids but haven't subscribed. Like you don't want to be friends with me, like I don't want to be friends with you. Hit the button, tippity tap it. You know you want to do it. So this first guy, what, what a guy. And he had a Maltese. Now, a Maltese are, are little and white and generally have like straightish hair but can have a bit of waves. And his dog, from nose to tail, was completely fucking matted. Now, for those of you who don't know, mats and knots are not the same fucking thing, okay? A knot is like, ooh, I got a little thing here in my, my hair and I can kind of pull out some of the, the dead hairs and it'll come out. A mat is when you have all the hair all crushed up and twisted up and like knotted so hard together that it is like pulling on the skin. Like that's how like, deep and horrible mats are and how painful they are for dogs, okay? So that is why we don't brush them out because we could literally rip their fucking skin up. And this fucking dude comes waltzing in here for his grooming appointment. Now, I'll give it that this wasn't my dog, but I was checking in this dog and I immediately saw that this dog looks like a fucking rug. Like it was so, like you could not tell where the hair started and where it ended because it was just like a coat of pain. And I was like, so we're going to have to shave down your dog. And this dude, this dude was like, well, why can't you brush it out? And I was like, because your dog is in severe fucking pain. And this is, this is a direct quote. He said, you minimum wage people always want more money and don't want to do any work. Um, uh, uh, excuse me, bitch. You fucking entitled piece of shit. These same fucking people that don't work minimum wage jobs that paid $3,000 for a dog that's more inbred than a sandwich can't fucking afford a hairbrush for their dog. Anyways. I feel like my manager could hear like the steam coming out of my ears because just before I was about to be like, you fucking piece of shit, how dare you talk to them or me or about your dog this way? My manager was like, like coming up and she was like, don't, 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 don't do that. Don't lose your job, Savannah. So I give it up for Maria for that, but fuck that guy. The next guy who I had was not actually one guy, but was like the same person, but he was different people, you know? Like I got this situation so often that like, it wasn't even one dude, it's just like one kind of dude. For those of you who think Huskies are really cute and adorable and beautiful, they are, but they are fucking evil, okay? <laughs> They need so much exercise that if you don't exercise them, they will destroy you and your home. Now, if you're a person that can take your dog out for lots of exercise and lots of training and lots of stuff like that, Huskies are wonderful dogs. But most people don't fucking do that and fuck those people. People really don't like dogs that shed but keep fucking buying the most shedding dogs there are on the fucking planet. I won't tell you what package it was called because I don't want to give away where I worked because I don't want to get sued. But basically there's a type of brush that you can brush out dogs who tend to shed a lot. And if you use that brush on a regular basis, not an everyday basis, but like a once a week or something, it will reduce the shedding by a significant amount. The word to that is you have to keep using using it, like you have to use it on a regular basis. And by regular, people think like, oh, if I just do this every six months, my dog won't have any fucking hair. These people are assholes. <laughs> like these dogs are so pent up with energy that they're just like shaking and riddled with anxiety and excitement all the time. Um, sorry, sir, we weren't able to brush your dog. And he's like, why not? And I was like, cause your dog is literally like shitting itself in excitement on my grooming table and is barking and jumping 
off, like he's hanging himself from my grooming table right now because he is so fucking full of energy because you don't fucking walk him. This dude walks in in fucking joggers but can't fucking exercise his dog or take his dog for a walk. And then after I brush him, of course the guy comes back two days later and is like, excuse me, my dog is shedding. And I was like, you own a husky, sir. Cause like, well, excuse me, your package said it would reduce the shedding by 90%. And I was like, uh, yeah, if you do it regularly, maybe no one told you on the I keep my dog in an apartment all day Facebook page, but hair fucking grows. And this last person was the most frequent kind of person, but Boy, oh boy, do they just not get any better. The last person I would like to talk about is a woman who had a pug. Now this pug was about 11 years old, so quite an old pug. Her dog didn't like having its nails done so badly that it would literally like go almost into a seizure from being so upset by having its feet touched. This isn't exactly uncommon for a lot of dogs, especially like rescue dogs and things like that. But it is pretty fucking common for people who don't take their dog to the groomer on a regular basis or don't do their dog's nails. And then they get all curled up and are like in their fingers and are so painful and they never touch their dog's feet. So their dog are just like, and evil and aggressive and want to fucking bite your jugular out because you've touched their tiny feet. Long story short, I was not able to do this dog's nail. This pug was so upset. He was like, he was like, <laughs> Like he was like going to die. This place where I worked at, you were not allowed to have more than one person help you. Like you could only have one person holding and one person doing, and that was the policy. You couldn't have two or three people holding. If it took that much, you had to send them over to the vet. And that was just the policy. So I didn't get to make that decision. Well, this woman, I'm sorry, we can't do your dog's nails. The dog is way too upset. Like you're risking putting your dog in danger. And she said to me, aren't you supposed to be a professional? <sighs> Aren't you supposed to not put your dog in the risk of fucking heart attack? Aren't you supposed to do this shit at home? Aren't you the one who pays the vet bills supposed to be making a life that is happy and prosperous for your dog? Fuck you. So, the woman took the dog over to the veterinary center that was inside of the same building as where I worked and they weren't able to do the dog's nails. So I was leaving the salon to go to lunch and who is there leaving the veterinary center but the woman with the pug. She came over, stopped right in front of me and looked at me like this. She was like, well, the professionals were able to do it. Really bitch. Really? So I went over to the to the vet and I was like, how many people did it take to do that dog's nails? And they were like, three. So three people had to stop what they were doing in a veterinary clinic to deal with your fucking dog. It only took three medical professionals to deal with my dog, beach. I don't know if you know, ma'am, but that is not a fucking accomplishment. You just paid twice as much and took time away from dogs who actually needed medical help because you wouldn't get your shit together. Anyways, um, that's pretty much everything for this video. Those are just three of the uh, assholes that I had to deal with when I was a dog groomer. If you enjoyed stories like this, I have so many more. I have worked in food, I've worked in retail, I've worked with pets, so I have worked in all different kinds of service industries where people have treated me like garbage. So if you want to hear about it, please leave it down in the comments below. I am happy to bitch and complain about these fucking people. If you enjoyed this video, make sure that you hit that like button. Once again, hit that subscribe button. You know you want to do it. You know you want just on the subscribe button. You can follow me at all of these different places. I am on Twitch three times a week. I'm on Twitter every single day. Uh, Instagram virtually every day. So just go and follow me in all these different places if you want any updates about when I'm going to post. I hope you have a wonderful day and if you are a dog groomer, dog bather, somebody who works at a veterinary clinic, anything like that, you're the fucking best.